to run a bamboo build automatically after a commit or trigger a bamboo build with a specific command used in the commit message, I will create an automation rule using automation for Jira and the DevOps specific triggers provided by the Better DevOps Automation app. All the relevant links and documentations can be found below in the video description, so don't forget to dive into those and make sure you have all the necessary apps installed first. Now let's open Automation for Jira and create an automation rule that will trigger a bamboo build when I use the at build command in the commit message. So let's start creating another rule it's from the DevOps triggers. I want to choose Genius Commit Created this time. This is the advanced DevOps trigger that allows me to use commands in the commit message to run actions. Hit save. And for a new action, we need to communicate with the Bamboo server. So for that, we want to use the send web request action. To learn how to construct this web request, we, uh, we can cons consult with the better DevOps uh, documentation. Um, And just see the configuration guide for running a bamboo build with a specific command. So we already um, selected the uh, send web request action and we need this webhook URL um, in our rule. So we can just copy that over. As you can see there are a few parts of this URL that, uh, that are just placeholders. So we need the bamboo server base URL and the project key and the bamboo plan key at the end of the URL. So to learn those, we need to pull up bamboo for that. Select the right plan that you want to use. And just to get started, I copy the uh, base URL over. And at the end of the bamboo URL, I have the project key and plan keys. I want to hardwire both into my rule here. All right, we've done that. As the next step, we need the uh, need to add a new header called authorization. Copy that over, and the value should be the base64 encoded version of your Bamboo username and password. So mine in the task system is just admin admin, which is exactly what it's encoded here in documentation, but uh, you need to create your own. If you don't know how to do that, you can use this online form that you can access right um, from the documentation here. Okay, so I just paste that here. So we need to add another header, which will uh, be called content length. Just making sure that is correct. And the value is zero there. The HTTP method to use is post. So we can save that, give the rule name. Just turn it on and let's give it a try. I will just pull up the repository and see the changes. Just add everything and create a commit very quickly. Just for the sake of the example. And now I want to use the build at build command to run the bamboo build when the commit is pushed to the server. Let's hop over to Bamboo and see what happens. This build should be started momentarily. Yep, and there we go. The uh, the Bamboo build is started and ran, um, triggered by the add build command in the commit message. For more DevOps automation options, watch the next tutorial video and find a link below to start your better DevOps automation trial for free. Don't miss our upcoming videos. Click the logo in the middle to subscribe to this channel for Midori updates and tutorials.